Rugby players can definitely blame their genetics for not being as fast as Brian Hamada. However, you cannot blame your genetics for you being slow. There are multiple ways, both on the pitch and in the gym, that you can improve your speed. I'm gonna take you guys through the gym-specific exercises you should be focusing on. We're gonna break these into the categories of strength, speed, and power. First, we have strength, and this is also gonna include your muscle size or hypertrophy. We want to focus predominantly on forceful triple extension, which means at the hip, knee, and ankle. So you're looking at squats, split squats, this means a lot of work on your glutes, hamstrings, and also your quads. From an injury prevention standpoint, you also want to make sure that your hip flexors are strong, so don't forget those. Next, let's run over power, which is force times velocity. Now that we've developed that force through the strength training, we can think about adding in the speed component. Here, we're looking to get as much power as possible through, you guessed it, triple extension. Weighted jumps, moderately loaded sled push, and Olympic lift variations are going to be your best bet for this. And that takes us nicely over to the speed element. There's going to be a lot of crossover between the speed and the power training. 